Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Today's video is on the Oakley SI Ballistic Strike Array. Now I've mentioned it a couple of times, I do work in an industrial facility and so having good quality safety glasses is a must. And this review comes after using this pair of glasses for about two years now and so I've put some significant use into these. I've gone through many different scenarios with them and I'd like to share some of that experience with you today and show you the pros and the cons, what's worked, what hasn't worked, and what condition they're in after two years of work. Now this particular set of glasses is generally used by either uh, law enforcement, military, SWAT teams, police. These glasses are ANSI rated. They have a Z87 ANSI impact rating. That's why I selected these glasses. I thought they would be good for me where I am in an industrial facility and I'm not sure from day to day exactly what's gonna come my way. This particular model came with two sets of lenses, a smoked set and also a clear. I've used both just about equally for different scenarios and so I'll cover both of these in detail and show you what condition they're in. This came with a padded case and also the typical soft microfiber cleaning cloth. And so this particular set, uh, like I said, has gone through a whole bunch of different scenarios for me. You know, I've not only used them for industrial use, but I've also used them hiking. You'll notice that in some of my prior videos, these glasses have showed up from time to time. And I really do like these for a hiking scenario simply because if I do go to a place where I'm camping, it's really nice to have the pair of sunglasses in the daytime. And then when I get to where I'm going, if I'm gonna be working into the evening and into a darker situation, I like to put the clears on simply so that while I'm working around the campsite, setting myself up or even moving around, I don't accidentally catch a branch or something in my eye. And especially when I'm far out, miles away from help, the last thing I wanna do is catch a branch in the eye and so these have really been great for me in in terms of not only you know the work scenario but also uh, you know as a pair of glasses that I wear on my hiking and camping trips. Now I haven't mentioned before the fact that I am an avid Oakley enthusiast. I like almost everything that they make. I've had tons of their sunglasses, I've had their watches, their clothing, I've had boots, all kinds of bags, different outerwear and so most of my experience with Oakley has been very good, but in some way, shape, or form, almost every product has at least a little bit of a flaw that's no different with these glasses. I'll talk about that right now. Now, the first thing that kind of went wrong for me on these glasses is with this clip. When you change out the lenses, you need to lift this tab and give it space for the lens to pop out. And if you look at these clears real quick, you'll notice there's a hole that's like an indexing hole. And in this little clip here, there is a pin that fits in there. And the original clip that I had was extremely snug. And I did snap it off while I was changing the lenses one time. Uh, this clip here does happen to be an aftermarket clip. It doesn't fit perfect. It's a little loose. You can actually kind of see it moving around here. Um, but I guess at this point, the good thing is it's not ridiculous tight like the stock one was. So anyway, that's just one little flaw. The fact that, you know, this system here is a little bit on the snug side and makes it a little bit difficult to change out the glasses. Now, if you look where my light is shining, you'll actually see a little bit of a smudgy mark on the lens there. That is actually worn into the lens. Now I'm not sure exactly what happened. I don't know if the coating's missing. I don't know if it was like my eyelashes rubbing against that or something, but basically the whole top of the lens on the smoked lens anyway, and this is the smoked lens here, um, has basically the entire top of it 
kind of worn out. And so, um, like I said, I'm not exactly sure what happened. If there was like a coating that's not there anymore and it kind of uh, rubbed off. The clear lenses do not seem to have that problem. I mean, there is a little bit of marking, but at the same time, there's no real, uh, I'd say, material or coating missing on these. So uh, not really that big of a deal with these clears, but you know, with the smokes, it's a little bit frustrating. Um, I, I have to admit, it doesn't really affect my vision, um, but just in terms of general aesthetics or, you know, the uh, overall condition of the glasses, I mean, to have something like that happen is a little bit frustrating, but at the same time, like I said, it's not completely detrimental to my vision, so it's probably just fine. Now, fortunately, with these glasses, I've managed to maintain these ear socks in pretty good condition and even over this long period of time. Now, some of these Oakley glasses suffer from a weird phenomenon with these ear socks, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you can see, this has a sheen to it. Now, this is basically like an oil that builds up, and these things get kind of gummy when they sit around. And this has happened to a number of my Oakley glasses. This material just gets kind of, I don't know, like I said, it's almost a, an oily-like uh, feel to it. And it gets just strange and gummy and loses a little bit of its elasticity. You can see this is actually even a little bit darker in color now. And so it's just a weird thing that these glasses tend to do. And now I'll compare this again up against the Strike. And you can see these are definitely... You know, they're not shiny. They still have their rubbery appearance. They're still a matte finish, and they're not all oily. So luckily, at least with my strikes, this has not happened yet. And I think it's honestly because I wear them so much, and then they're not sitting around. Some For some reason, I feel like these glasses, when they sit around, tend to do that. And I don't know, it's just what's happened to a number of my glasses. Now again, one of the main reasons why I like these glasses and I use them so much is because of the ability to interchange the lenses. Basically to do that, I pop this clip out of the way and once I do that, it releases that little hole and I can take the glasses out. These little tabs fit in the sides of the ears here and it pretty much just slides right out. Super easy to remove them. Really quick before I put these back in, I do want to just show this aftermarket nose piece. Now the original nose piece was not able to slide around like this. You'll notice that this is loose and it just kind of slides all over the place. Anyway, not a big deal. In fact, in a weird way, it almost makes it easier to put these lenses in. So if I'm going to put the clears in, pretty much what I do is I get this tab right into the corner here. Slide that right in. Go to the other side. Slide the tab in get both right under the corners and then what I do now is I just slide this in place. It actually is a little bit easier to deal with changing it out because the first one was just so tight I had to really jam the glasses in there to get it to work and where this one's loose I can just kind of pop it and slide it out of the way. It actually works just a little bit better. I mean it is making a little bit of a scratch on the top of my lenses but at the same time it doesn't really bother me. I've used these so much they're getting beat up anyway. Now something else that I'd like to point out is that Oakley has used pretty much the same nose piece for a long time on their M-frame glasses. These actually are very comfortable. They feel good on the face. They don't ever bother me. I can wear these glasses for long extended periods of time without ever getting anything sore on my face or having these actually bother me. So it's been a pretty effective design for them. I like that these are a little bit flexible so they kind of just conform to your face and that's always worked out pretty nice for me in terms of the general comfort of these glasses. Now continuing on I did want to talk about the case just for a minute. It's a pretty nice case. It's definitely nice and sturdy. It has a nice insert that is formed to the actual content so when you put the lenses and the glasses inside everything fits in here really nice. The one thing that is a little bit of a drawback, and I do understand that there's not much you can do about this, it's just kind of bulky. So in terms of this being something that I use for backpacking and camping, it takes up a good amount of space in my pack. It's not like it's heavy, but at the same time, it's just bulky. So that's a little bit of a drawback, but again, there's not too, too much I can do about that. And now just to pack the glasses up, generally what I'll do is I'll put my extra lenses towards the front, collapse my glasses down, and fit these in the middle slot and then I'll take my lens cloth and kind of drop them in the middle there 
package it all up, zip it up, and it's good to go. So, all right. You know, I don't know if I could say that these are necessarily in my top 10 gear list, but I would say that I definitely wear these all the time. So for me, having a good pair of glasses is just as important as having another good piece of gear. I mean, these things keep your eyes protected. They allow you to see in the bright sun or glare. They keep your eyes protected when it's dark out and you're trying to avoid getting poked by branches or getting debris in your eyes. And so for me, it's a very important thing. And this is definitely a great quality, suitable pair of glasses that has multiple functions and can serve you for a good long time. So, all right, guys, I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.